Do you also want high FPS in Call of Duty? Then watch the video to the end, but before. First go here, type run, press enter. Type temp, press ok. The temp folder is Windows dump file location, everything in this folder can be deleted and is not needed, select everything from here, and delete them. Then go here again, type percent temp percent, press ok. The same, delete everything from here. Go again here, type refetch, press ok. This data allows programs to open faster by storing data on the file's location for quicker access in Windows. So select everything from here, delete them. Then go here on the recycle bin, right click on it, press on empty recycle bin. Press yes, and you are clean. Now right click on the screen, press on NVIDIA control panel. This page will pop up, go to adjust image settings with preview. Then here check use my preference emphasizing. Drag it to the performance. Press apply. Then go here to manage 3D settings. Press on program settings. Here you have to select call of duty, but if you don't see it here, just press on add. Select it from here. Then press on add selected program. And when you have this here, we have to change some settings. First you need to go to power management mode. Select prefer maximum performance. Then go to texture filtering quality. Select high performance. Then go to threaded optimization. Select on. Then vertical sync. Select off. When you have done that, press on apply. Then close the page. Go here, type graphics. Press on Graphics Settings. Make sure you have this on. Then press here on Browse. Search where you have your Call of Duty folder. Double click on it. And this is the right file you need to find. This with 257 megabytes. First right click on it. Press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization, then go here to change High DPI Settings. Check this box, then press OK, press Apply, OK, then select it, press here on Add. When you have this here, press on Options, here check High Performance, press on Save. Go back here to Settings Home, go to Gaming. On the Xbox Game Bar, select this to off. Then on the Game Mode, select this to on, for the optimization from graphics settings to work. Now you need to have the ultimate performance guide on your PC, so go here, type CMD, right click on Command Prompt, and press on Run as an Administrator. Then this page will pop up, here you have to paste a command. Copy this command from my description and just right click and paste it here, then press enter, and now you have the ultimate performance guide, but to activate it, you need to close the page. Then go here, type choose, press on choose a power plan, then you have to press on this arrow. Check ultimate performance, and now you have it activated, open blizzard, left click up here on blizzard, press on settings, go to game settings. On the Call of Duty Warzone, check additional command line arguments. Type here minus D3D11. This command should optimize the game performance. Press here on done. Then open the game. When you are here, go to options. Go up here to general. On the field of view, select 100. Then skip introduction movie. Select enabled. Scroll down to Content Filters, select this 2 to Disabled, then go to FPS Counter, select Enabled, Server Latency, also Enabled, to see here how many FPS you have in the game. Then go up here to Graphics, on the Display Mode, select Full Screen, Render Resolution, select 66, 
aspect ratio. Select automatic. Vertical sync. Select disabled. Custom frame rate limit. Select unlimited. Now if you have a NVIDIA, on the NVIDIA highlights, select disabled. NVIDIA reflex low latency. Select enabled plus boost. Then stream quality, select low. Texture resolution, select low. Texture filter anisotropic, select normal or low. Particle quality, select low. Bullet impacts and sprays, select disabled. Tessellation, select near or disabled. On demand texture streaming, select disabled. Shadow map resolution, select normal or low. Cache spots shadows, select disabled. Cache sun shadows, select disabled. Particle lighting, select low. Ambient occlusion, select disabled. Screen space reflection, select disabled. Anti-aliasing, select off. Depth of field, select disabled. World motion blur, select disabled. Weapon motion blur, select disabled. Then don't forget to press here on apply settings, and that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.